Hello and welcome to this year's University Honors and Awards virtual ceremony. My name is Michael Schell and I'm president of the University of Oregon. And it is my pleasure to welcome you to our annual event, which celebrates the outstanding leadership, service, and scholarship of our amazing students. Although we couldn't celebrate today in person, our students' accomplishments, the accomplishments of many of you who are watching this, are an important part of what makes the University of Oregon such a vibrant community, such an enjoyable place to learn, to teach, and to work. Through your involvement in student organizations, your service in the campus, and your lo our local communities, and your exceptional academic performance. You have all accomplished so much. We are all very proud today to celebrate with you and recognize your great work. I hope you enjoyed today's program. Again, congratulations and go Ducks. Good afternoon. My name is Chris Winter. I'm the Associate Vice President for Student Life and Dean of Students at the University of Oregon. We're here today to celebrate the success of the leadership and service of our U of O students. If you're one of the 70 plus students being honored today, you should be proud of the achievements that you've had and your service to the community, both on campus and off. The first award that I have the pleasure of giving today is the American Association of University Women Award, presented to senior women selected for outstanding achievements in the areas of service to the university service to the community, and lifetime goals. The 2020 Graduate Award recipient is Julia Liu. Julia is originally from the San Francisco Bay Area and is grateful for the supportive friends she's made at the OVO. She plans to apply for MPH, MD, dual degree programs one day becoming a primary care physician. She enjoys expressing herself through poetry, music, and photography. Congratulations, Julia. The next award is the Dean's Award for Service. This award is given to students who have made exceptional contributions of service to the university community, fellow students, and the larger community. The 2020 recipients are Zoe Light, Maria Mboji, Blake McKay, Molly McGraw, Raj Shah, Bailey Reardon, Kelly Barnett, Noe Sanchez, Cynthia Aguilar Atzmendi, Ali Grimaldi, Claire McCain, and Savannah Jade Khan. Congratulations to all of our Dean's Award recipients. Lastly, I will present the Centurion Awards given to undergrad and graduate students for their dedication and outstanding service as students leaders in the past year. The 2020 recipients are Allison Dominguez, Isaiah Corder Boyd, Haley Thayer, Michael Hardebeck, Madeline Chase, Sydney Lawrence, Noah Ashman, Maria Rose Tongino, Alex Wind, Yori Bendanjagod, Hannah Taylor, Alicia Knight, Georgia Weeks, Donia Hushmand, Adam Brewer, Amanda Singlob, Abby Ward, Xiao Day, Karina Velasco, Tannen Reckling, Megan Victoria Oliveira, Megan Mortensen, Kizia Setiawan, Ella Young, Carolyn LaPlante, Shelby G. Saper, D. Lee, Ishani Shrestha, Jasmine Centeno, Daniel Arlen Berger, Andrea Aguirre Abergo, Ugo Akabi, Maya Tagworker, Josie Belize, Mary Kate Johnson, and Nina Kikibayan. Congratulations to all of our Centurion Award recipients. Hi, my name is
name is Marcus Langford, and I'm an Associate Dean of Students at the University of Oregon. I'm honored to be able to be here today to recognize you, some of our most outstanding students. The first award I would like to present is the Mary Hudjakovic Freshman Award. This award goes to a first year student who has displayed a willingness to be involved in campus activities and who exemplifies academic excellence. The 2020 recipient is Jay Taylor. Jay is passionate about learning new languages and nonprofit management and currently serves as the financial coordinator for the UO LGBTAQ3 office and is the president of the UO Model United Nations Club. Jay will also be presenting on South Korea at the 2020 Under Oregon Undergraduate Research Symposium. Congratulations, Jay. The second award today is the Vernon Barkhurst Sophomore Award. This is awarded to the sophomore who best exemplifies academic excellence, university service, and good citizenship. The 2020 award recipient is Piper Kiziar. Piper is currently working on her undergraduate thesis in the Bradshaw Hopesville Lab. She is a student ambassador and the vice president of the Duck Street Dance Club. She also hopes to continue to follow her passions by attending medical school after she graduates. Congratulations, Piper. At this time, I would like to announce our junior awards. The first junior award is the Jim Buck Award. This award is presented to a student who has demonstrated strong academic achievement and whose service has helped the university build relationships with prospective and or newly admitted students. The 2020 award recipient is Wesley Rosemont. Wesley has focused his life around education and the desire to be a role model for young minds as an educator, and he exudes passion for the betterment of everything he takes part in. Congratulations, Wesley. The Girl Under Cup is awarded to the outstanding junior woman selected for scholarship, leadership, and service to the university. The 2020 recipient is Caroline Doyle. As an Oregon native studying biology in the Clark Honors College, Caroline attributes her love for school to her supportive family. She is the chapter president of Tri-Delta Sorority, on the executive board for the Pre-Medical Society and UO Dance Marathon, and also is a CHIP leader and part of the Global Health Research Group. Congratulations, Caroline. The Coil Cup is presented to a junior man who has shown the most progress in leadership, service, and academic achievement. The 2020 recipient is Seth Morosky. Seth has distinguished himself through a strong history of academic achievement and leadership in this study of history. He is ser currently serving his second year as his fraternity's president, is very involved in Jewish life, and has encouraged philanthropy through the walk to end Alzheimer's. Congratulations, Seth. The Best Templeton Christman Award is given to a junior woman exemplifying the outstanding qualities of leadership, scholarship, and service to others. The 2020 recipient is Emily Ma. Emily studies biology and human physiology, aiming to one day be a pediatric surgeon. She is the co-president of the Osleopaths Pre-Medical Society and the Chinese flagship Ban Zhang Student Leadership Board. She also works as an undergraduate researcher and volunteers at the Peace Health Hospital. Congratulations, Emily. The Maurice Harold Hunter Leadership Scholarship is presented to a junior man from the state of Oregon who has made the most notable contributions through their own achievements and exhibited qualities of scholarship and leadership among their fellow students. The 2020 recipient is AJ Ted Taltow. AJ is a dedicated student who works hard in academics and excels outside of the school. Additionally, he prides himself on being a member of the LGBT plus community as well as his role in a research lab. Congratulations, AJ. The Paul Olam Award is presented to a graduating senior who best exemplifies academic excellence, dedication to the welfare of the university through involvement in campus activities, integrity, and concern for people. The 2020 recipient is Katrina Marie Tabor. Throughout her time on campus, Katrina has been very involved in university theater, gospel singers, Pi Beta Phi sorority, the Vagina Monologues, Pathway Oregon, the Panhellenic Council, and the Ambassadors Program. She plans to pursue a master's in school counseling. Congratulations, Katrina. The Ray Hawk Award is presented to a senior who by 
performance best exemplifies the essential qualities of leadership in university life and promise of later leadership as a citizen, high school achievement, service to others in the university, and contributions to improving the quality of undergraduate life at the university. The 2020 recipient is Avery Turner. Avery serves as a student director of substance abuse prevention education in the office of the Dean of Students and works in a psychology lab on campus. She plans to earn her PhD in clinical psychology and work with mothers with substance abuse disorders. Congratulations, Avery. The Wilson Cup is awarded to a senior student whose outstanding leadership and willingness to challenge conventional thought has stimulated awareness and fostered education in the areas of social and cultural issues. The 2020 recipient is Nelly Nobosu Ninfrak. Born and raised in Cameroon, Central Africa, Nelly is passionate about research and has been involved in multiple research projects on campus. She's also focused on her goal and worked hard every day despite the challenges of being in a different country away from her loved ones. Congratulations, Nelly. The Frondmeyer Award is presented to a fifth year senior who sustains extensive campus and community service throughout their fifth year of study at the university. The 2020 recipient is Briar Kim Patterson. Briya has been involved in a number of student organizations and programs as the president and treasurer of Alpha Kalpha Alpha Sorority Incorporated, as well as being a multicultural recruitment specialist in the Office of Admissions, a student ambassador, and an intern for the Vice Provost of Finance and Administration. Congratulations, Briya. Next, I would like to announce our non-traditional student award winners. This award recognizes the breadth and depth of experience and contributions made by non-traditional students as they balance academics and other work and family responsibilities. The first recipient of the 2020 Non-Traditional Student Award is Reed E. Thompson Kanas. Reed hopes to focus their own research on Latinx transgender immigrants and be a resource to connect with Spanish-speaking individuals in both their clinical and research work. The second recipient of the Non-Traditional Student Award is Shane Feinstein. Shane is a first-generation college student born and raised in Eugene, Oregon. He's pursuing a degree in biochemistry with a French minor and lives with his wife and son as well as dog and cat. The third and final recipient of the Non-Traditional Student Award is Miguel Angel Mendoza Lopez. Miguel is a fourth year U.S. Army active duty veteran, as well as a current ROTC cadet. He is part of many campus organizations, including the Student Advisory Board for the Counseling Center, the Student Suicide Prevention Team, and the Substance Abuse Prevention Education Team. Congratulations, Reed, Shane, and Miguel. Next, I have the pleasure of presenting the Graduate Doctoral and Master Service Awards. These awards are given to students at the master's or doctoral levels to recognize their outstanding contribution to the university and larger community in both scholarship, leadership, and service. The 2020 doctoral award recipient is Amber Rowland. Amber is a PhD candidate in the Prale Lab and is involved in the leadership board of the LGBT plus in STEM at UO, the local SANCUS chapter, and Mad Duck Science Friday program. She is also an Arts Foundation Scholar and has organized a one-day symposium at UO. The 2020 Master's Award recipient is Tannen Reckling. Tannen is an MFA graduate student who will be researching the similarities between virtual reality headsets, technology hardware, and BDSM, kink, leather, and queer hardware through a narrative of shared camp historical, gay semiotics, and queered theory. Next, I would like to recognize the School of Music and Dance Awards. These awards are given to outstanding undergraduate and graduate student performers and scholars in music. The 2020 Outstanding Undergraduate Performer in Music is Brenna Peros. Graduating with degrees in music performance and psychology, Brenna has excelled in both fields, performing as a soloist with the UO Symphony Orchestra, winning the 2018 Concerto Competition, 
and being awarded the Peter O'Day Fellowship in Biological Sciences. This fall, Brenna will attend the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign to pursue her master's degree in flute performance. The 2020 Outstanding Undergraduate Scholar in Music is Lincoln Hopkins. Lincoln is graduating with a BA in Music and a BS in Biology. He hopes to further his studies in music while also pursuing a career in epidemiological research. The 2020 Outstanding Graduate Performer in Music is Jessica Dodge. Earning her MM under the mentorship of Dr. Edith Shiner, Jessica is a saxophonist who has performed internationally and has won the 2019 Concerto Competition Closer to Home. Recipient of a 2019-2020 School of Music and Dance Innovation Grant, she has pioneered new music from Oregon composers in her ensembles, Chernoil and Dorado, and will pursue her DMA at Arizona State University this fall. The 2020 Outstanding Graduate Scholar in Music is Holly Roberts. Graduating with a doctoral degree from the School of Dance and Music, Holly's dissertation research engages the intersection of music with concepts of divine love, ecstasy, and death in literature, iconography, and music from the late medieval through the Baroque eras. While at UO, she has been a guest speaker for the Jordan Schnitzer Museum of Art and the Oregon Humanities Center. Additionally, she is the co-founder and executive director of the UO's Musicking Conference. Congratulations, Brenna, Lincoln, Jessica, and Holly. Hello, my name is Haley Wilson. I am the coordinator of the LGBT Education and Support Services, and I am excited to present to you the recipients of the John R. Moore Scholarship presented to students who excel in their contributions to the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, and asexual community at the University of Oregon. This award includes a $2,000 scholarship. The 2020 John R. Moore recipients are Alexandra Aguirre. Alex is passionate about racial justice and the LGBTQ community. She is a leader for queer, trans, intersex students of color and works for the LGBT Education and Support Services, where she programs events including LGBT Time. Amber Rowland. Amber has worked to provide a support network and increase visibility for queer graduate students, postdoctoral researchers, faculty, and staff by planning monthly social events in order to provide safe spaces for queer identifying scientists at the UO. Josie Field. Josie has maintained academic excellence while being a student leader at the LGBTQA3 student group and has been an advocate in the university administration as well as at the state level for lower tuition on campus. Zoe Jennings. Zoe is a poet, designer, and transgender woman who has contributed greatly to the LGBTQA3 community and worked to make this campus safer for transgender students of color. Zoe has a strong passion for rights of queer Asian, South Asian, Pacific Islander students and is committed to fighting racism and oppression. Nathan Mather. Nathan is pursuing his PhD in counseling psychology. He is a practicum therapist at the UO Child Family Center, serves as a co-facilitator for the Alice at Volunteers in Medicine, and hopes to continue working with queer and Latinx communities to provide accessible mental health services. Peter Ellinger. Peter is a doctoral student at the Counseling Psychology Program who serves as a clinical extern therapist at the UO Counseling Center, a practicum therapist at the UO Child Family Center, and is a principal investigator of the Trans Affirmative Alcohol Preventative Intervention Development. Pole Campos Melchor. Pole is a Chicana lesbian whose research explores how LGBTQ migrants at the US, U- US Mexico border articulate and narrate survival strategies in love, incorporating art into her research to explore how different art forms give shape to formative narratives that cannot be spoken through testimony. Steph Fisher. Steph is a fierce activist, community organizer, and scholar who has worked with community-based organizations for over seven years and has been a GE in the UO LGBT ESS office, diversity chair of ASPS, 
and has volunteered with the 90 by 30 project to reduce child abuse. Valerie Simon. Valerie is a PhD student in the philosophy department and activist scholar whose work unfolds at the intersection of phenomenology, philosophy of technology, and sexuality studies. She focuses on qu her questions on relating to queer, lesbian history, activism, and archival practices. Sula Benjamin Propp. Sula is a physics PhD student who is involved with numerous outreach organizations and has also served in leadership roles in the Graduate Student Union Queer Caucus and LGBT Plus in STEM, where they organized the UO's first LGBT STEM Day celebration in 2019. Thank you for your contributions to the University of Oregon LGBTQIA community, and congratulations. The University of Oregon prides itself on the high levels of student activity, activism, and involvement. Today, we've honored that by honoring the students that have been award winners. I also want to acknowledge that students don't make it here all on your own. You have parents and family, faculty and staff that help you along the way, that support you to get where you are. So thanks to them for doing all that they have done to support you. I also wanna take a moment of gratitude to thank those that have worked to ensure the awards process and the ceremony have gone well. But congratulations to all of our award winners. We're so proud of you. You shine and you emulate what it means to be a duck. Congratulations. <laughs>